Hey guys, Julie here from Julie Aaron Designs. I'm back today with another uh, Photoshop tutorial and I wanted to show you guys today how to create a more complex pattern in Photoshop. So I created a video a little while ago and it actually became really popular on how to create a simple offset pattern. Um, so basically I just had like an image in the middle and then you duplicate that and then offset it to the corners So it just creates a really nice simple offset pattern um, So if you're interested in that make sure you go over to that video. I will link it here For you, but today I wanted to show you how to make a little bit more of a complicated pattern so um, basically I've just gotten started here with this sort of confetti pattern that I'm creating today and um, I've taken all of my elements and filled up most of uh, my canvas here as you can see but I left the corners empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to duplicate this layer but um, I'm working with a 6,000 by 6,000 pixel um, sort of canvas and you're going to want to make sure that you know what size of canvas you're working with because we're going to go into filter, other, offset and you can see here I've got it at horizontal 3000 and vertical 3000 which is exactly half the size of my canvas and I've also got it set to wrap around so if you just see it looking like this then you just need to click this wrap around and then it will show up on all four corners here so I'm going to click OK and then basically I'm just going to go in and um, fill in these white spaces until it looks how I want it to look. So I'm just going ahead and filling it in. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. And um, so from here, I'm gonna go and go to Edit, Define Pattern. We're just gonna hit OK. And then to test our pattern, we'll go to File, New, and just set up a new um, canvas size here. It doesn't really matter the size, actually. Um, and then we're gonna go to Layer, fill layer pattern and click OK. And then it's automatically going to grab the most recent pattern that we created. So we've got our pattern here and I'm just going to set the scale to 50%. And then you can see here our pattern has been created. And you can zoom in and just double check that there are no um, seams and you can see here it looks pretty good and if there's any little areas that you want to go back in and fill you can just go back to your pattern here and fill it in and just remember don't um, from this point don't do anything that's going to overlap the edges because they're no longer going to line up so just fill in what's in this area here um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you guys liked this tutorial and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, let me know if there's any other uh, simple tutorials that you'd like me to cover um, in my next video. And we'll see you later. Cheers.